What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Pygambot to contact literally hundreds of thousands of businesses per day. So this is Pygambot, for those of you who don't know, it's a really cool tool for gathering data and for contacting um, businesses through their contact form. Uh, now you can do a lot of stuff with this, so I don't want to get too bogged down in exactly what you can do, but basically um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the posting tab to post to contact forms of websites and we're going to contact a lot of them right now so what i like to do um, now this is being run on what's called a vps which is a virtual private server which is basically a fancy way of saying it's like a fake computer being run on a really powerful computer somewhere else right so this VPS is strong enough for me to be able to run three instances of Pygambot. Um, you know, and I found this out, lots of trial and error. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to click on add URL list, post to URL directly, click OK. And then we are going to go and I'm going to so I've got a list here of 3.3 million contact pages with no duplicates or 0.01% um, duplicate rate. Now, let's see here. I'm uh, on this specific campaign that I'm running. I've these are the only four that I have left. So we're just going to click on this one. I'm going to click on open. It's going to take a minute or two to load. So while we do that, we're going to do the other ones. Add URL list, post directly to URL. Go down. Um, I think this one now, yeah. That will also take a second to load. Uh, mm, add URL list, post directly to URL. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm loading in these lists of contact pages that I have previ previously scraped um, to uh, post to. And, and you should see in a second it might take a minute or two for this to happen, but basically what's going to happen is all of these contact pages are going to get loaded into the bot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill out um, the information that we want to fill out on the contact forms. Now, the cool thing about this is that Pygambot will actually let you save the contact form, like the, the setup that you have. So just like I loaded this just like I loaded the contact forms into the bot, I can load um, the setup into the bot as well. So while we wait for that to load, I guess I'll just show you a couple other things that this bot can do while we wait. Um, now there's two tabs, the scraping tab and the posting tab. On the scraping tab, basically what you do is you select a search engine that you want to scrape, let's say Google or Yahoo or whatever and then you add keywords that you want to scrape for. So let's say we want to scrape contact pages for websites that are, I don't know, well here, we'll talk about that later. This is just loaded. All right, so you can see there are 98,853 contact pages. We're gonna click on the posting tab. Um, here you've got name, email, phone number, subject, and message body. This is fairly standard for contact forms. We're gonna click on load setup, James Lightning. Uh, the name of this campaign is lightningfunnels.com, and I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, just kidding. I mean, not just kidding. I just clicked on the wrong thing. So I've got a folder here called Form Fill Setup. Oh, that's annoying. And these are all of the iterations of the form fills that I've been doing for this specific campaign. As you can see, I, I changed them quite a bit because I haven't quite found one that in my... Oh, that's like a military jet flying over there. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't found one that really does it for me just yet, uh, but that's part of the game. So Death by Captcha, what is this little pop-up that came up here? Death by Captcha is a service that you can pay, basically, I don't know, I guess you pay like, I don't know, Indians or something, like 0 0.001 cents to fill out captchas for you on websites as you use a bot like this. So um, you do have to pay money for it, but I pay, I think, $20 for like 15,000 CAPTCHAs. Um, now I'm probably running pretty low. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so $8.86, that should be good for this campaign. So we click on save. And then what we wanna do 
you can see the auto solve captcha is uh, is selected. Um, when you run this, when you run the posting tab, you're also going to be collecting data. So we don't, I don't actually want to collect any of this data, and by deselecting these, the bot is going to run much faster, which is very important when you want to, um, you know, run three instances, for example. So collect form tags. I did select that one on purpose. These are the form tags, right? So for example, on one website, maybe it's not, it doesn't say name, maybe it says first name, right? Maybe it doesn't say email, maybe it says like your email or something. So when you collect the form tags and then you, I'm not gonna click on this because it takes a while to load. When you load them into the form tag module, um, you'll have a better chance of the form successfully being loaded if you've got more tags there. I know it's a lot of information right now, you don't need to worry about that. Um, but what I found is most important is this right here, the subject and the body. And I won't go over that right now because I could do a whole video about that, but just know that like test different subject lines, test different message bodies, it's very important. So let's do this for the other ones. Same thing, 98856. Uh, the guy I had separate this data for me did it very exactly. All right, so same thing, James Lightning 6. We don't need to test it again because it's the same account. So let's just save it. Auto solve is checked. Deselect all of these for the data. Um, okay, so we're gonna change this. Um, now for the subject line, I read this book called Never Split the Difference by an ex-FBI negotiator. And he says the best way to start any sort of negotiation is to get the other person to say no, like get them to say no, which is kind of the opposite of what we normally think. God, that's so annoying. Uh, we want to get people to say yes. So most people that I'm assuming I'm, I'm sending this to are not marketing experts, they probably have some other thing that they're good at. So by asking them, are you a marketing expert? I'm getting them to say, no, I'm not. Uh, the guy's whole premise is that when we say no, we feel like safe, we feel more comfortable, like we feel like we can defend ourselves, like, as opposed to saying yes, which is like, do you want to get better at marketing? You're like, yes, what are you trying to sell me, you know? Um, so anyway, let's delete that, let's write something else. Uh, one that I've been using is, was last month your best sales month, question mark. Most people are probably like, no, it wasn't, you know, like, no, it wasn't. Uh, now, this is kind of like an embarrassing question to ask or an embarrassing question to answer, um, you would think, but uh, people just like to say no is the premise of this book and I've actually found that to be true. Okay, collect form tags, click that as well, and then same thing over here, posting tab, load setup, James Lightning 6, save deselect collect form tags and let's just change the subject line let's think here are you a marketing expert was last month your best sales month um, I don't know uh, I don't know uh, is your Are your, ah, uh, how about this? Are you happy with your marketing? I don't know, whatever. Just pick something, you know, contacting 100,000 people, like some of them are gonna open the email anyway. Uh, okay, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna click um, start. Okay, now one more thing that I think is very important. When you're contacting people at this level of volume, I recommend putting don't put your real email address, don't put your real phone number because you will get blown the fuck up by people like emailing you and calling you because a lot of the times there will be an error and this actually won't get filled out, but the phone number will get filled out. So that's very annoying because you'll get a lot of people calling you. I guess it's a good way to like pr play a prank on somebody, you put their cell phone number in here and they will get like literally like 50 calls a day from telemarketers just from one campaign. Probably shouldn't say that. Um, so what I do is I'll put a, like a fake email here. Like this is actually the wrong domain. It's actually lightning funnels with an S at the end. And then what I'll do for the people who are actually like interested, um, I'll put a separate email here that says like, if you want a custom funnel built for you, contact us at admin at lightningfunnels.com. 
And this is an actual email that I'm hoping that people who read this and are interested, they'll be astute enough to um, use this. But in my experience, unfortunately, what I found is that most people just click reply. And if they don't get a response, then they're just like, fuck it. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe that's one of the reasons why this campaign has been not going as well as I thought it would. So we're going to change that. All right. Let's let's test this. We'll iterate right now. Um, because one of the things that I'm doing is I'm giving away stuff for free. So I think when you give away things for free, people are already like a little suspect. And when you give away something for free and it's you give them a fake email address, I think they're like, eh, this is like a little shady. Like, I'm not going to do it. Anyway, um, let's save this setup. James Lightning 6. Now, this campaign is pretty much over anyway. So it's not going to make a huge difference. But... Um, we'll see how it goes, you know, maybe something good will come out of it. Okay, then you're going to click on start. It's going to ask you how many threads you want to run at once. Now, a thread is basically, think of it like an instance within an instance, right? So I have this app open three times, right? Oh, you can't see, okay, so three times. Now, if I run 21 threads per instance, There we go. If I run 21 threads per instance, that means that this bot will post essentially to 21 forms at a time um, per instance. So it's basically 61 forms per instance. 61 goes into 300,000, I don't know, technically five hours. Is that right? I don't know, whatever. Somebody check my math. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna click okay. I'm gonna let her rip. Posting will start in a few seconds. And then you can see the posting log right here. Um, this is how many, like, total, uh, how many errors there have been and how many successful forms there have been. So in general, what I've found with this current list that I'm l using is that the success rate is about 30%. And this is on the first run through as I'm adding the form tags. So um, I'm hoping that that's going to uh, go up next time I do a campaign. All right, so let's do that for the rest of them now. Start 21 threads. And start 21 threads. Now, I, I wouldn't like this is this is very this is going to tax the system a lot. So basically, when I do this, I have to kind of just like leave my VPS um, and go do something else. Um, but that's basically it. And just really quick, I'll show you the offer that I have. <sighs> and I'll show you the couple, the different pages that I have as well. Um, so actually, you know what? I'll do another video about that. Yeah, I'll do another video. Lightningfunnels.com if you want to check it out. All right, so if you, have a good, if you guys have any questions about Pygambot um, or anything I talked about in this video, make sure you leave a comment. Um, ask me, I'm here to help, and I'll put a link to Pygambot in the description as well as a coupon code, I think for 20% off. Um, so if you want to check that out, do that. Peace.